Christmas Redemption, The Digital Reckoning of David Alexander In the not-so-distant future, where technology reigned supreme and wealth was measured in algorithms, a man named David Alexander had risen to prominence as a ruthless tech mogul. He had clawed his way to power through the relentless exploitation of the digital realm, showing no mercy in his pursuit of success. But as the world marveled at the wonders of a digital age, it simultaneously abandoned the values of compassion and humanity. David Alexander, with his heart encased in a fortress of ambition, had become a symbol of the cold, unfeeling embrace of the digital age. His name invoked fear and awe in equal measure among those who knew him, and the stories of his cutthroat business practices were whispered in the corridors of power. Yet, the very technology that had catapulted David to his lofty position held a mirror to his soul, reflecting the darkness that had consumed him. On a frigid Christmas Eve, as the world outside was adorned with shimmering lights and echoing with joyous carols, a reckoning was brewing within the heart of David Alexander. It began with a flicker, a faint, ghostly shimmer, that danced on the edges of his peripheral vision. David was alone in his sprawling penthouse office, surrounded by the gleaming monoliths of technology that had been his kingdom. The soft hum of servers filled the room, a constant reminder of his dominion over the digital realm. David turned away from his computer screens, his piercing eyes narrowing as he scanned the room. There, in the corner, a spectral figure began to coalesce. It was ephemeral and translucent, like a ghostly wisp, panic clawed at David's throat as the figure solidified into the form of a man. Who are you? David demanded, his voice betraying a tremor of fear he hadn't felt in years. The figure spoke, its voice echoing with an otherworldly resonance. I am the ghost of tech past, David Alexander. I am here to guide you on a journey through the echoes of your past decisions. With a gesture of its spectral hand, the room transformed. David found himself standing in the humble living room of his childhood home, a place he had long tried to forget. He watched as his younger self, a boy with dreams and innocence in his eyes, played with a simple wooden toy. Tears welled in David's eyes as he witnessed moments he had buried deep within himself, the love of his parents, the laughter of friends, the kindness he had once known. The ghost of tech past showed him the choices he had made, the sacrifices he had accepted, and the humanity he had cast aside in his relentless pursuit of success. The room shifted again, and David was transported to the early days of his career. He watched as he built his first startup from scratch, driven by passion and innovation, but the vision blurred as he saw himself betraying trusted partners, stealing ideas, and ruthlessly crushing competitors. The ghost's words echoed in his mind, your past decisions, David Alexander, have shaped the man you've become. The room returned to his penthouse office, and David stood there, shaken to his core. The specter of tech past had peeled away the layers of his hardened heart, exposing the wounds of his past. It was a reckoning that would haunt him forever. As the Christmas Eve night deepened, David's torment continued. The ghost of tech present a shimmering figure of ever-shifting digital patterns, showed him the grim realities of his present actions. He saw the consequences of his exploitative business practices, the shattered dreams of employees, the communities left in ruins, and the environment scarred by his insatiable greed. David was forced to confront the human cost of his success, the suffering he had caused, and the cold, unfeeling embrace of the digital age that he had fostered. It was a reckoning that weighed on his conscience like a chain, dragging him deeper into despair, and then came the final and most chilling visitation. The ghost of tech future, a dark and foreboding presence, revealed the nightmarish vision of a future shaped by David's insatiable greed. He saw a world where humanity was enslaved by technology, where personal connections were replaced by artificial intelligence, and where the environment lay in ruins. The specter's words echoed in David's mind, this is the future your actions have wrought, David Alexander. With each visitation, David's internal conflict grew more profound. Guilt and despair clawed at his soul, threatening to consume him. He grappled with the consequences of his choices, and the weight of his past, present, and future sins pressed upon him like a vice. As the clock struck midnight on that Christmas Eve, David Alexander stood at a crossroads. 
the echoes of his past, the grim realities of his present actions, and the chilling visions of a future devoid of hope had brought him to a moment of reckoning. It was a moment of choice, a moment where he could either continue down the path of unfeeling ambition or seek redemption for his sins. With trembling resolve, David made his decision. He would change. He would use his wealth and power to make amends for the damage he had caused, to restore the values of compassion and humanity that he had forsaken. The specters of tech past, present, and future had shown him the way, and he would follow it, no matter how perilous the journey. In the digital age, where the line between man and machine blurred, David Alexander would strive to rediscover his lost humanity. And so, the digital age witnessed an unprecedented transformation, a tech mogul, turned philanthropist, a symbol of hope for a world in need of redemption. In the end, it was a Christmas story of a different kind, where the power of choice and the possibility of change illuminated the darkest corners of the human soul. David Alexander's journey was a testament to the enduring hope that even in a world dominated by technology, the human spirit could find its way back from the brink. Christmas Redemption, the digital reckoning of David Alexander, became a legend, a story told to remind others that no matter how far one strayed, redemption was always within reach, even in the unfeeling embrace of the digital age. Thank you for joining me on this journey on the key to wisdom. If you are enjoying my heartfelt writings, please hit the subscribe button, like, follow, or notification bell to keep up with future updates. Thank you.